Okay, so welcome to tutorial two in our building the island series. Uh, one thing we need to do before we go any further is save up the work we've done so far. So click on file, save scene as, and let's save it as um, island. Okay, island.unity and click save. Make sure you save it in island level and the assets folder. Okay, don't save it somewhere random on your hard drive. It's got to be saved in the folder in your project folder, island level assets. Okay, so once you're happy that that's where it is, click save. And I've already saved it once, so I'm just going to overwrite that. Okay, so we've saved our level. So when, in this tutorial, what we're going to do now is um, create some trees and start texturing our terrain. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start um, creating some um, hills and valleys on our terrain, make it a little bit more interesting. So if you pan out, scroll out and select the terrain, and then scroll out from it, and we'll start making that a little bit more interesting with some hills and valleys, etc. Okay, so click on your raised lower terrain tool, and we'll reduce the size of the brush to about 70 or so, and then start painting some hills and things onto it. Okay, we're going to have a volcano in this sort of area, I think. Okay, so let's start off with a volcano. So, start. And around now that spike there just get rid of that spike um, I'm going to um, hold down the shift key and make sure I'll hold on the alt key make sure I'm on, on top of it okay the mouse button center mouse button and then I'll done shift key and paint on top of that spike to get rid of it. Okay. Okay, so we've got some kind of uh, volcano system going on there. Okay. I'm happy with that. Now, as it's going to be a um, sort of lush tropical island, I think I'll change that from uh, grass and mud to full grass. So click on your paintbrush, click on the texture, click on edit texture, and instead of that, we'll choose grass hill. Double click on it, click apply, and we've made our terrain a little bit more um, lush. But the volcano itself, we don't want to have grass running outside of our volcano. So I'm going to make the lower bit of the volcano mud and rock, and then the top of the top bit of the volcano rock. So click on Edit Textures again, Add Texture, and then we'll select that um, grass and mud, grass and rock. We'll click on it, click on Add, and then make sure you click on it. And then reduce the size of your brush. At the moment, the size of the brush is too big. So it's about, I don't know, 20 ish. And then paint around the bottom of that volcano with the grass and mud. OK, 
Okay. So I'll paint around the top of the volcano with rock. Add another texture. And then I think we've got one called rock. We've got the cliff layer. So double click on cliff layer. Click select. Click add. Add. Click on that. And then paint the top. Back. Go around the top of the volcano with click. And then paint inside the volcano, not that people can see it anyway, but paint in inside the volcano with click as well. So, let's take a look at that in game mode. So let's move our first person controller, find out where he's gone. There he is. Let's scroll out. And let's move him closer to our volcano. Click on the pump move tool. Move him over there. Press F just to make sure it doesn't disappear through the into the ground. Okay, yeah, he looks happy enough there. Goes off the ground. Let's play. And there we have our little volcano. This is realistic, that's okay. Okay, so save that out. File save. Now what we'll do is we'll add some trees. No. We'll, add, we'll, we'll create some more um, hills and valleys first of all, and then we'll add our trees. So click on Y to look at the terrain from above. And we'll put some little hills around here. So click on your uh, terrain. Select your terrain tool. Select your brush. And make your brush size a little bit bigger again. Actually, painting mountains was it bigger than when we painting textures? Uh, let me pass you down a little bit. Okay, we're going to start painting some hills on. We're not on the brush till we want to be on the raised height tool. Okay, so start painting some hills on. Now if you want to make some uh, a rough surface you can choose some of these tools here and they can put some like speckled effects on. Makes like a rough sort of texture to the environment. And then if you want to smooth them off if it's too rough, you can use this tool here, which is smoothing. So you can paint over that and smooth them off a little bit. And just create sort of a more depth of effect. So I'll move our character control over there so you can see what I mean. So it's over there at the moment. So I'm moving into this little area where we've created these textures. Press F to make sure he's not just through the floor. He has a bit, so move him up a bit. Press play. And you can see the sort of more undulating environment that we've created. A little bit more interesting. Okay, so we'll create that undulating environment over the rest of our terrain. Scroll out a bit. Um, that too. On these and just sort of dapple that over the rest of the terrain. And use a smooth tool to turn it down a bit. Ok, 
Okay. Now, the other thing we need to do is um, have a look at this. Um, try and make a little beach area down here. Put some, is it possible to walk down there? Okay, well done, your alt key. So if we use the raised lower tool and we'll make it a bit more gentle. Brush size we can have okay. Turn down the opacity to make the tool act a bit more gently. And we'll just select some of these. Hold down the shift key so we're going down. We'll just go around the edge of that cliff and just smooth off that cliff a bit. You get the odd little lagoon, it doesn't matter. Now let's put our character over there and see if we can walk down to the sea. Okay, zoom in on him. Oh, he's way in the air now, isn't he? Because we've been reducing. There we are. Let's see if we can walk down to the water. Okay, so now we can walk down to the water. Don't walk away again. I will make this area, you don't get uh, green grass going right down to the water, so we'll make that mud and rock. You know, so we've got um, more of a beachy effect. Let's get that to rain again. That's our brush. Um, let's click edit text and see if we've got anything more suitable. Mud. Well, that's the best thing we've got is this we've got, what we've got in terrain assets rain textures oh we've got good dirt we'll, we'll use that so drag good dirt into there. Click select. Click add. Now if we go back to our terrain. We've got good dirt there. So select that and then we'll use that as our beach. So change your brush size down to 30 ish and just paint around the beach there. This, these cliffs we can use the uh, cliff layer so on the edge here we can use cliff Um, good dirt around this little lagoon here as well. Change our brush size down a little bit. And similarly with that over there, this, this one here as well. Play it. Mm. 
Okay, so now we've got like a little beachy effect. We can go down to the beach, got our grass, down to sand, and into the water. Okay, so that will do for this video. We'll save that, and in the next video, we'll start adding our trees. So, file, save scene, and I'll see you on the next video.